Did you know that before the discovery of the Mesopotamian cuneiform tablets, the Bible was considered the oldest book in the world? Stick around to learn more about the first written language in the world. Hello and welcome to World History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today we're going to take a deep dive into the world's oldest form of writing, cuneiform. Don't forget the easiest way to support us is by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Cuneiform is a writing system or script which was developed by the ancient Sumerians in Mesopotamia between 3500 and 3000 BCE. It is the oldest form of writing in the world and is thought to have developed so people could communicate long distance in trade. A merchant would send a sealed clay tablet with a list of the goods he was sending, like a shipping manifest written in cuneiform. The recipient would then be able to verify that the full shipment was received and nothing had been stolen. The word cuneiform actually comes from the Latin for wedge, cuneus. Since to write cuneiform, scribes would have pressed a triangular shaped reed stylus into soft clay, which produced the wedge-like impressions. When the clay hardened, one had a written work, either a letter or a receipt, a story or a poem, and these can still be read 5,000 years after they were written. Cuneiform was used by all of the great Mesopotamian civilizations until alphabetic scripts became more popular in around 100 BCE. Some of these cultures were the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, Elamites, Hatti, Hittites, Assyrians, and the Hurrians. When the tablets with cuneiform inscribed on them were found in Mesopotamia, what many of the archaeologists were actually looking for was physical evidence of biblical narratives. What they discovered instead were tablets with stories and legends written on them, including the Epic of Gilgamesh, which included the Great Flood Myth, and other early forms of well-known biblical tales. But more on that later. The earliest form of cuneiform is known as proto-cuneiform. This early script was pictorial since the tablets addressed tangible things like how much cattle was traded, a battle, the amount of grain collected as taxes, a flood or a king. When the subject matter of the texts became more complex and was about intangible things as well, like a quest for immortality, romantic love or the will of the gods, the script developed in order to convey these concepts. This development had occurred by 3000 BCE, which signalled the change from a pictorial script to a word concept script. This innovation not only made the meaning of the text clearer, but the total number of characters used was drastically reduced, from over 1000 to 600. For example, something recorded in proto-cuneiform might have shown signs for two sheep, a temple, a goddess, a nana but couldn't tell you whether the sheep were going to the goddess Inanna's temple or coming from it, whether they were alive or dead, or what purpose they served, whether offering, payment for services as pets or as food. The development in cuneiform script meant that emotions, intent and intangible ideas could be better expressed. And in general, the texts were more detailed and clearer. Two of the most well-known pieces of literature written in cuneiform and found on Mesopotamian clay tablets are the Epic of Gilgamesh and the Enuma Elish. The Epic of Gilgamesh is the earliest example of epic poetry and the Enuma Elish is the Mesopotamian creation myth which explains their beliefs regarding the creation of the universe. The discovery of the cuneiform tablets was also important for our understanding of the origins of many biblical tales. The tale of the Garden of Eden could be understood as a story derived from the Enuma Elish, and there were also early versions of the Flood myth and the Fall of Man. The concept of a dying and reviving God, a deity who dies and returns to life for the good of others, which is a concept famously appearing in the Christian New Testament, was actually first an ancient model expressed in Mesopotamian poetry such as the Descent of Inanna. Prior to the discovery of the cuneiform tablets, the Bible was considered the oldest book in the world, 
and the Song of Solomon was believed to be the world's oldest love poem. Both of these claims are no longer accepted by scholars as truth. And if you want to learn more about the love song of Shu Sin, the world's oldest love poem, I'll leave a link to it in the comments below. Do you know of any myths that have been transmitted across cultures in time? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. As always, if you're looking for more information beyond this video, there are plenty of links to articles down below to our website. This video was brought to you by World History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. World History Encyclopedia is a non-profit organisation, so if you'd like to support our work, you can hit the link to our Patreon in the top corner of the screen or via the link down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon with another video.